it, you know, to own up to it, this right here is actually what I'm supposed to be doing. But, let's get in there on the workbench. We get in there on that workbench. Remember this. That action on the front of that engine there. Uh, remember that to yourself. And we'll get in there on the workbench and see it kind of up close. i show something to you. It was a, a early morning today uh, uh, on this computer. On Harry's old engine website. Uh, check in on it every morning to see what what the problems of these old engines is. <clears throat> and in the morning, the morning thread, uh, if I may be of any help at all, link this over to Harry's old engine and maybe to get back to the person that left the thread and it'd be some benefit to that person. Uh, just for that blank page in your book, write this down if you want to. Uh, the thread was how, how, how do you put this spring right here? That's that little governor spring. Let, let, let's say that you, you had one of these uh, engine. This, this, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to rebuild this head right here. It's all good and sound and everything. I'll have to cut some seats in there. We'll put some guides in it. Rebuild it entirely. But it has a good, this part's good. Needs a spring on it right here. So the thread was, is, is how do you get that spring on there? Okay, I'll show you. Is... If this was on, if this was on your engine now, you you looking at it just the way I am, and there's your spring. What you going to do is you going to screw this spring onto this thing right here, and, and and with that, what I mean is the spiral, the way this spring is wound. You you you. This, you'll be in front of your engine here if that's all you're doing to it. And this this is a very nice governor on this one right here. I'm going to point something out. This is a, that's a replacement governor there. I'll, sh I'll show you something on that just in a minute. Uh, that's, that's the way this works. Th this right here, that's a new replacement. If you order one on the internet, this is what you get. So, it's got a spring on it. But looking at it, critiquing it, so to speak, uh, just looking at it, it's not like the original one. It's a little more beefier, I'm thinking, the way they built it. But on the original Governor Butterfly setup, the way this thing's casted on the front there, it, it'll show you which way your butterfly is in there. See, that straight up and down means open. So when that comes like that, it's closing. See, it's straight across. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, this and functions the same and everything, but it don't have that. It don't have an indicator as to blade position. I guess you could scribe it on there, which I'll probably do. But it, it's good. It, it's it's well built. Uh and I'm gonna put I'm gonna use this right here on this head right here. And one of these will go on Tony's engine. But to get back to this spring install, you be on the front of your engine and you just come up to it with your spring in hand and 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 you you spiral out the first link a little bit to where it will fit onto where the gap is such that it, it's right that way. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to turn that all the way around, keep turning it, and keep threading it on there. 
and, and if it's on the engine, it's kind of a little bit easier because everything's stationary. But you just keep winding this thing on there. And um, it's several. It's a small size wire, you know, if you, got, if you need to know this, the diameter. But it's quite springy. Uh, it's a, it's um, a, according to how many coils it is. But you have to wind it all the way until, yeah, and all the time you're winding this, that that eyelet over there is coming around. So keep keep knowing where it's at. That. Uh, it don't get dislodged behind this pin right here and hold you from making another turn. So, but, okay, now, now we got that spring all uh, on this, uh, wound on to this thing right here. Now, now what you have to do is the, the bottom, the front side here is where your little pin, pin part is. And the back part back there is where the eyelet is. Okay, this little pin part right here. Will be. Okay, now, now, now that little pin came through and is sticking out the front right there a little bit. So now what you have to do is to bring this eyelet around and, and connect it onto the pin right here, such as. Okay, and it's, it's right on there, if you can observe it. Now, at this point, in that setting, it's open. And as your governor weights flings out and it comes up and the rod comes up and makes this, it makes this go up that way. Okay, when it comes up there and, and bottoms out onto that pin right there, the flapper in there will be completely closed. On a well tight engine, you can actually stop the engine from running if that gap is of close enough tolerances. Most of them sucks enough air around this shaft right here to keep the engine running. But th that's the way you put that uh, spring on there. We're done with that. Let's go on to something else. That little bitty spring right there underneath that mixer I think that's called a throttle shaft spring you know I always just call it a governor spring three of them in total uh, but I think in the book it's listed throttle shaft spring and we're gonna put that on there the other two springs is these back here the spring right here and a spring on the other side the way that works when this wheel is turning 
the centrifugal force slangs these two weights. I bet a fly ball type governor and it slings that out and when it does it goes through you know, that long rod and then up that short rod and then in that throttle shaft to act as a governor but in the, the in the area it's in it is a throttle 